Okay, today I'm going to make a quick video actually like uh, actually like explain to this student because actually I got this uh, because recently I uploaded a video about trigonometry and then basically have two students on my YouTube actually post a comment like why we have to add and subtract the delta with 540 and another student actually asked about so I don't understand why you need to add 540 plus delta and 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 I think both both actually having the same issue so yeah in order to answer them so I decided to make another video to explain on why we need to add a 540 delta or something like this alright basically this video is for MF student alright so because if you are a math student you're not going to add about 540 alright so basically this one is for MF okay so okay let's have a look on on the reason why okay uh, just an example so let's say let's say I have size 540 uh, what am I saying no I mean let's say I have size 3x okay uh, size 3x let's say equals to uh, 0 0.5 and then I tell you that x basically is the value between 0 and 360 Alright, so let's say this is just a simple example and then you will, you have to guess how many answer we will have for x. So if 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 I uh, you want me to guess I will say it you you will have four answer or even more than four answer. It's not only two answer because why? Because sine three x means what? Means later all your angle have to divide it by three. So okay, let's see what happened. So first thing I will move the sign to the other side. So you will see shift sign which is sine power negative 1 0 0.5. And then you will use the calculator. Calculator will tell you which is 30 degree. Alright, then you have to think sign you will get positive because of the add sugar to coffee. You know sign you will get positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So that's mean in the first quadrant is just delta, second quadrant is 580 the uh, minus delta. Okay, so you, you would pick first and second quadrant. So therefore you have another is 180 minus 30, which is 150 delta. Alright. However, because of the sine graph, sine graph actually will continue until infinity. So this, let's say this is maximum is 1 so let's say if you have 0 0.5 actually you will have infinity answer because all uh, okay because all the intercept between sine graph and, and 0 0.5 you will see you have 1 answer 2 answer 3 answer 4 answer 5 answer 6 answer you can have a loss of answer but how how do we know where actually we should stop is based on the range here so the range says that your answer cannot be bigger than 360. So as long as your final answer is less than 360, you have to include in your in your angle here. So so now actually I'm teaching you how to find the because this one is first cycle because what you have learned is from zero rotate until 90 until eh, sorry zero until 90 until 180 until 270 until 360. This is just part of the sine graph, but sine graph can go infinity. So you have second sine graph. So how do I find the value in the second sine graph? Is I will add three hundred sixty for all the angle here. So for third quadrant is hundred eighty plus delta, and the fourth quadrant is three hundred sixty minus delta. So when I rotate second round, this is three hundred sixty until uh plus ninety, which is four hundred fifty. This is 540 and then plus 90 again this is 700, uh, 630 and then the last one this one should be 720. So this is what happened when, when it rotates second round. So that means when you rotate second round actually it's very easy to remember is uh, all, all the angle you have here you just plus 360. That means this one is 360 plus delta and then this one 180 the whole thing you plus 360 isn't it 
So you imagine you have 180 minus delta and plus 360 again. So you will have 540 minus delta. So that means in the second quadrant here is 540 minus delta. So for the next one, this one is same thing, 180 plus delta, you plus 360 again. So you have 540 plus delta. So you will have 540 plus delta. Same thing to the next one. This one you will get 720 minus delta. This is when you rotate second round. So what happened when you ro rotate third round? It's exactly the same thing. So if you rotate third round, that means everything from the second second round here going to plus 360 again. So that means it starts from 720 and then 810 and then 900 and then 990 and then 1080. So that means you plus 700 uh, plus 360 for every sing every single angle here. So you have 720 plus delta. That, and then you will have plus 360. This one should be 900 minus delta. This one should be 900 plus delta. And then this one should be uh, plus 360. So it will be 1080 uh, minus delta. So it's the same thing. But then in SPM MF, maximum you, you will use until second and first round only. You won't go until the third round. So, so you at least you have to understand why you will have 540 minus delta and 540 plus delta. It's very depend. So in this case, basically you want first two quadrant, right? So you will take this one, this one. So when you rotate second round, you will, you will take back the same thing. You will take back the first quadrant and second quadrant. So that means I will have two more answer which is 360 plus 30 degree, 390. And then I will have 540 minus 30 degree, and, and which is uh, 510. And then you might think the answer here actually is more than 360. You are wrong because later, all your answer have to divide it by three because you are asking to find an X. You are not asking to find the three X. All right, so what I will do next is I will divide it by 3. So you will get 10, you will get 50, uh, you will get, yeah, you will get, divide 3 is 50, divide 3 is 130, then divide 3, you will, the last one, 540 divided by 3, you will get 170. Isn't it? So in this case, you might have the, okay, so if you're not sure, you will have the angle in the third round or not. So, so I will try. I will try to do third round. It's the same thing also. Is these two angle? So for the third round, what I will do here is, yeah, I can try. So this one is seven hundred plus delta. So it's, it's seven hundred twenty plus thirty is seven hundred fifty, and then I will try to use the calculator, like seven hundred fifty. I divided by three. It's two hundred fifty. That's mean. In this case, yes, 250 is still less than 360. And then I will use 900 minus 30, which is 870. And then you try to 870 divided by 3 is 290. So I think I will stop here. Yes, so in this case, you will have 6 answer if sine 3x equals to 0 0.5. So normally how, how actually I teach my student is like this. Whenever sine cos or tangent, you will see three x. It basically seems seems like he asks you to rotate three round. If you see sine two x equals to zero point five, it actually tell you that you have to rotate two round. Because of what? Because your final answer you have to uh, divide it by two. You have to divide by two. And then, yeah, some reference book actually they teach like this. Since I, I have to teach you, so basically I teach you everything I know. So, for example, in this case, it's 3x, isn't it? Some reference book actually teach you something like this. In order to make this one become 3x, so you have to multiply 3. So you have to multiply 3 for all other angles also. So that means you can roughly know how many rounds you should rotate. So after you multiply, 0 multiply 3 is 0. And then 360, you multiply 3, basically you will get 1080. So 1080 is exactly the third round we rotate just now. 
So therefore, in this case, you might need to rotate until three round. So let's say, so let's say I do another example just to make sure you understand. So let's say this. Uh, in this case, I will say sine two x equals to negative zero point five. So whenever negative, you have to find a reference angle. So if reference angle is tell us is thirty degree as well because reference angle. Okay, never mind. I do one by one. So reference angle basically you move the side to the other side and then ignore the negative. So therefore, reference angle will tell you is thirty degree. Then because of the add sugar to coffee, add sugar to coffee, we know sides will get negative in the third and fourth quadrant. Okay, but this is two x, but this is two x. So I will rotate until second round. Let's say its angle is zero to three hundred sixty. If I do a 2x1, that's mean I multiply 2 for both of these, so it's 0 until 720. So in order to find the 2x, I, I, I will need to rotate until 720. So what I will do is, this one is 180 minus angle, this one is 360, uh, this is 180 plus angle, this is 100, 360 minus angle. But then this is in the first round. Second round, both of these one have to plus 360. So this one will be 540 plus angle this one will be 720 minus angle so in order to find all the uh, 2x here so what I will do here is I will say 2x equals to because of reference angle here 180 plus 30 210 and then 360 minus 30 which is 330 and then this one 540 plus 30 is 570 and then this one 720 minus 30 which is 690 right then every angle here I divided by 2 so this is 105 and then this one will be 330 divided by 2 will be 165 and then this one 570 divided by 2 you will get 285 and then 690 divided by 2 you will get 345 so that means if this is sine two x, basically you will have four angle here because all of these angles still fulfill this condition. The x value should be between zero to three hundred sixty. All right. So because a lot of students they assume the sine graph is they will only stop at three hundred sixty, but in fact if you use the graph calculator, sine graph will continue until infinity. The sine graph will not stop at any point until you give it a range so this is not only happen to sine graph no matter it's sine cos tangent or cotangent or any other graph actually it will continue until infinity if, even the straight line graph yeah it will continue until infinity all right this is this is the uh the reason why we have to rotate second round or third round okay it's very depend on the question so normally uh, the hints I can give you is whenever you will see that something like tangent 2x you will see a 2x here mean basically you have to rotate second round or maybe you will see cos uh, 3x yeah so this one maybe you have to rotate until the third round as long as the answer the final x answer is within the 360 so you have to find out all the possible answer alright I hope this video actually can make you understand uh, Make you understand why you have to rotate second round and third round, and I also hope, uh, basically, I do reply. Uh, both of these, uh, question from the student. Anyways, if you have, any more, uh, questions, please post the comment either on my YouTube, on my Facebook, or on my Telegram. Anyways, thanks for watching.